All right, guys, welcome back. Sorry I took some time off, but I had to finish my QuickBooks Online tutorials, which are right over here. So if any of you are running a small business or just have a question about QuickBooks, go ahead and check these out. And also, if you have any questions about GoPro or anything else, just go ahead and post them in the comment section, and I will get around to it, which is actually what I'm doing in this video. I'm answering a question in the comment section. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to turn on Auto Convert, not Converse, Convert, not Chuck Taylor's. So what we're going to do... As you know, when you're in step one and you're in view and trim, and it's just after you find what you want, if anybody can tell me what game this is from, post it to the comment section below and you'll be a legend. Well, that just gave it away, but whatever. All right, <laughs> auto convert. So what you're going to do is when you find something you like, you go ahead and click mark in, take a couple seconds, we'll do that. All right, mark out. But we've got to add the conversion list and then click convert every single time. Well, I want to go ahead and just have an auto start for that. So what I want to do is I'm going to go up here to GoPro Studio, click on preferences, check this on auto start conversions, just like that. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and trim another clip. So we'll come up to Huey or Dewey or Louie. I don't know which one that is right now. Mark in point. One, two, three. You'll need a key to get into Transylvania. All right, mark out. Let's go ahead and add to conversion list. And boom, it just takes off. You don't have to click this convert button again. So it's just a lot easier. I think it's a lot easier to minimize mistakes. So good luck with this, guys. The next video, we'll start talking about adding images and adding length to images and resizing images and a bunch of other fun stuff. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.